Hi, welcome back to another FSD beta video. Today we're on 10.8 in downtown San Jose. Ready to do another downtown stress test. I activated it while we were pulled over and parked and it's doing a really good job pulling us out. Um, you can even see that shows now the blind spot um, when the blinkers are on, which is kind of nice. Um, I can see that it is clear from our right. I would probably go right now. Car's still creeping forward, but here it goes, doing a good job. Now turn left onto Park Avenue. As you know, this video, these downtown San Jose stress tests typically uh, involve a lot of bike lanes and railroad trucks. So we'll get down to there in just a little bit. Right now, again, I can see that it's clear on our right. It's still creeping. It's clear as day on our right. And then there it goes. We're gonna have to make a right-hand turn here. Yeah, Sometimes it doesn't do a good job, but right there i did probably the best it ever did to get us in this lane right here yeah, it's clear on our left we have a green light oh wow and it pushed us across the right bike lane in the previous iterations it has right driven us through the bike lane right but this time it has us in the proper lane i'm liking this a lot better so far first impressions that was a really clean turn. oh and for the first time it took us into the right turn lane while crossing over the original place to cross over for the bike lane instead of cutting through the actual bike lane i like that huge improvements Wow, the speed through that right-hand turn. Yeah, I was noticing even on the graphics, it's noticing a lot more details in the bike lanes. And it seems to be recognizing the bike lane from a traffic lane. Yeah, it's doing much better than any iteration I've ever seen. But we'll see how it does with the railroad tracks though. Yeah, right? <laughs> We're just getting started. Doing a good job through here. Right up here is where I wanted to turn left. So it's slowing down really well for these cones. I'm now going to add a destination mid drive and see how it handles it. And it handled it very well. We were originally we were originally going straight here, but now it has us going left. Updated it really quickly. I really like being able to add waypoints now. Yeah, that's a, the UI on the map and adding waypoints is a big plus. Good job in that turn. Turn right onto West Central Street. Then your destination will be on the left. And when it splits into two, it's like going for it earlier. It does it more smoothly than it has in the past. Honestly, I agree. All right, it is clear on our left to go. And there it goes. Ooh. I'm going to disengage. It was getting us to the left-hand turn because the navigation the is for our place on the left. So that was actually normal for it to do. I'm going to put a new navigation here now. All right, the light turned green. I reactivated FSD and we have a new navigation. This time we need to turn right across the railroad track. So we'll see how it does. We do have a couple blocks until we have to get over. So let's see how the system handles getting over with all this traffic. There's the blinker. Okay, cool. You can see our blind spot down below. In 500 feet, turn right onto South 2nd Street. We got some buses right here. Let's see how it handles it. Now turn right onto South 2nd. All right, that one bus got out of our way. We had a car go for us, and so it could see in beforehand what to do. And oh, oh, wow. Oh. oh, wow, it did it. That was good. And then is it gonna go around the bus? And there it goes around the bus. Wow, YouTube, it did it. <laughs> We've done this video probably six or seven other iterations. Oh God, it's acting a little weird here. It's getting the right-hand turn lane. I mean, I've never seen it actually properly do it, and it did it very properly so youtube i do have to admit that that turn with the railroad track was not the turn that we usually take every iteration when we do the drive so that was one block over um now we're about to go to the two that we do every single other iteration test and hopefully this time it will uh 
do just as well. It's clear up from my left, I can see it's clear. And there goes the car. Oh, oh, there it goes. It got us in the bus lane, not into the railroad tracks this time. That was actually quite impressive. Um, but we do have to go around these vehicles because we are in a bus only lane. Um, we do have cars on our left, which are preventing us from getting over. And we do have pedestrians here and the car is, I'm taking over because actually it slowed down for them, but then it suddenly started to accelerate. Yeah, it didn't look like it was gonna stop. That was weird. That was very bizarre. We reactivated FSD, now doing a right-hand turn to go to another railroad track crossing. We are allowed to turn right on red. It is clear, now it's not. Now it's clear again. It's still clear. And there goes the car. All right. Now, turn right on to South Second now this is the one we usually always do. Wow. Ooh. Oh, it did it. Got us in the proper lane right off the bat. Yeah, I mean, it's actually quite impressive that, I mean, obviously been doing these routes for a while, but uh, from one iteration to two weeks later, Tesla fixed it in like a two week time frame. I mean, that's pretty incredible. We'll run it back one more time just as a double loop, just so that way we can make sure that it is in fact fixed. All right, it's clear on our left to go. Still clear. We're in the middle of the intersection and now the car decides to go. It's trying to go around this bus. I'm gonna stop it. Now that was right weird. Just because we have to go right here. So again, this says no red, no right turn on red. So let's see if the Tesla will read that sign. And it's creeping forward into a keep clear clear area. So I'm gonna take over. Light turns green. I reactivate FSD. Let's see how it does now with no cars around here. And it does a good job. It figured out the, yeah, I mean, I, I want to say it's pretty much fixed as far as yeah, I Yeah, it doesn't go on the railroad tracks. But it does get us in the bus lane. Yeah, I mean, it's marked a bus lane. I wish it would read that and react to it sooner. And they, but, but it does it eventually. Does. All right, let's see if it stops for the Wells Fargo sign right here. And it's not stopping for the Wells Fargo sign, but it is breaking because it saw this guy <laughs> trying to cross the road and jaywalk but then he ended up not jaywalking. So then the now car proceeded. Right on to East San Fernando Street. Again, we can go right on red. Light turns green so we can go where there's a pedestrian. And the car detects the pedestrian quite well. I love this new now software. Yeah, this, uh, wow. This is, really much improved and i see that right before i could have messed up again but it didn't it did it <laughs> i mean it's very jerky as you can see youtube on the wheel but it didn't put us in the bus lane and then here's a destination on the right and we come to a complete stop or it's trying to bring us to a complete stop but yeah i mean i'm kind of blown away that they yeah really fixed that's that. damn near perfect on that turn we've been doing that turn for months and it's never done it like that never i mean wow um, well, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. Feel free to support us on Patreon. It's how we keep these videos coming to you. Um, and then feel free to like. And if you haven't done so, subscribe. See you guys next time. Goodbye.